लेट्स रिकॉर्ड वेल मैं बिगिनिंग से दोबारा स्टार्ट करता हूं कि वी डिड टॉक अबाउट आवर प्रिमिटिव डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स वी वी टॉक्ड अबाउट स्ट्रिंग्स लिस्ट एंड अदर डेटा टाइप्स दैट वी हैव ओके सो व्हाट लेट्स से यू हैव समथिंग व्हिच इज अ बिट मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स दैट यू हैव टू सेव ओके व्हाट अबाउट यू यू वांट टू सेव इज सम companies information or something like that how would you do that okay so for for that obviously you might be thinking what i can do is i i can make as a list or an array and i in different arrays of employee i can store information but that's not a very decent and a professional way or to store information okay here classes will make a lot of difference all of you do know what arrays are we've been working since a1 so i'm not going to go back and explain you how the arrays work but obviously you do know that if i have to fetch a particular a list was someone ask you something okay if i have to go to a particular record i uh, for example if i have employees key array and if i want to find out the second obviously it will give me the third uh, third element and so on and so 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 this is the way your arrays basically work Uh, array's ka disadvantage kya hai what do you think so if i save information of the employees in array what is the disadvantage can someone tell me why is not suitable to do that for a table of information in an array har employee ka information for example about some main main employee ka usme save karo and i have uh, the first name the last name the age the designation i have five different elements main employees ka save kar raha hu ek array mein So let's say if I have less twenty employees, for example, just just for the sake of argument, talk about it. So if I want to retrieve the information of an employee five, and I want to get his or her designation, and somehow des designation is not in the array, this means I will get an error. I will not get the output. Okay, this could be a problem. But secondly, uh, the, the first obviously important point here, that arrays uh, are not a very proper way. uh to to reuse them okay you can't make so great way to basically um make your code more manageable uske liye hum use karenge classes main dobara start karta hu for example if i make a class over here now aur jo class ka naam hai it has to start with capital like employee e has to be capital this something new so whatever name of the class is the first letter should be capital ye ek rule hai what i'll do right now i'll just type pass because i don't want to uh, discuss the init definition today so i am not going to discuss uh, any particular parameters that will be passed for this class so i have a class but it has no parameters it has no definition of initial nothing like that why am i discussing this i'll tell you why later on so let's say if i create over here is employee 1 and i say over here is let's say um, employee okay so what i'm doing over here is i am creating an object in p2 and the object of the class employee okay i need to put the bracket because it represents that it's a class that's why it's done so employee is a class and my employee 1 and employee 2 are objects we also call objects instances aap bhi kaise the employee 1 is an instance and employee 2 is also an instance and these two objects or instances are of the class employee well if i say over here is print let's say um emp1 and is pass is pass the way to like end the class sorry so what does pass mean pass basically means that the class i have created a, a class by the name of employee but uh, pass means uh, just jump over to the rest of the coding uh, and and there, there, there is no uh, definition defined within the class i have no definitions i have no parameters it's just an empty class i would say so pass means it's an empty class and there is a class but nothing inside it okay now i will be using a in it in a while i just want to explain one particular point over here so that you should know what objects are So let's say if I simply run this, what do I get over here? Ah, uh, important part you note करते हैं आप note करे होगे it says employee object at this and it says employee object at this. इसका मतलब क्या है? इसका मतलब ये है कि employee one is an object, employee two is an object. इनके addresses आप note किए हैं 
Do you see the addresses are different? This address is different from this address. This is a very big point. You know why? This means that in one class, I have two objects and both objects have a different address. So this means they have their own identity. This means that the employee blueprint and this blueprint can use it to create multiple objects. That's what I'm doing. Did you catch my point? Why is this important? So this means I can create as many objects as I want. So first of all, yes. Yes, Amla. Sir, if we have a very employee one or employee two, then why are we showing the error? Why is the error? Sir, in our employee one or employee two, we have defined class term, but we don't have any variable. It's not true, because I haven't defined any class in the class. It's just a class. I just made an instance, and I made the instance equal to the class. Okay, and I made another instance, and I... Uh, assigned it to the class. So I'm going to see what the instance is. Python obviously will show the object address. It, 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 I'm trying to get the output. But I output to get the output. I don't have any output over here. Yes, fine. It shows me the backend address ke where employee 1 as an instance, as an object has been, has been saved and where, where employee 2 has been saved. Many parts of object cheese explain currently. Ki, I don't want to go into the detail. Batana me charon ke when we create objects, our objects have their own unique identity. That's it. Is this point clear? Ke objects have their own unique identity. Kya ko yaad rahe? Ye topic do totally related nita. What I'm going, magar to emphasize on this fact, I am I'm doing this. I'll just get rid of this and let me just make it a bit fast for now. Some society examples will be because I want to finish this. Uh, the beginning topic today. So let's say, uh, may I, for example, tell okay, what happens now. So if I say, let's say, I create as employee one, um, the first, let's say, is equals to sign, and then uh, the MP one, dot last, And then EMP part one, but I can say is uh, email is equals to um, and then I have EMP one dot mission is equals to. Right, so what we have is EMP1. Just give me a second. Let me define over here is EMP2 as well. So let's say EMP2 uh, first is equals to, let's say we can have any name we can have, let's say. Hey, uh, one, come on, let's say. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah, two dot last. Uh, but are you and Nisa Shai, right? Nisa? Yes, sir. And let's say EMP2 dot email is equals to Nisa at the rate of EMP2 dot email. This is not the you job, the field name should not be that lengthy, but it's fine, just for an example. Okay, we can say over here is uh, whatever. Okay, now, um, now, do you see what's happening over here? I'm just entering the information of multiple employees. Maybe I have 20 employees who have to enter. So if I want to retrieve some information, what happens is I will do is I'll write EMP1. I'll write the name of the object and Secondly, I will type is is what the one of the property that I have. Okay, so now obviously if I view this, I get is same type because in EMP one I want the email. Okay, so the point to be noted over here is okay, this is not a very good way. I mean I did create a class, but since I did not use the class properly, 
so normally this is the way I'll do. If I have 20 employees, is this the way I'll do it? This, this is the way tedious work. This is not the way information should be retrieved and stored. There should be re reusability of, of uh, elements. Yeah, reusability in your अभी आपको मेरा पॉइंट क्लियर नहीं होगा मगर आपको प्रोग्राम कराके इसलिए दिखाया है कि आपको आइडिया हो कि क्लासेस का फायदा क्या है द नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू इसी के ऊपर द सेम इस पे बेस करेगा यू विल सी ओके फाइन नाउ आई गेट सो दिस मींस इफ आई वांट टू प्रिंट द ईमेल ऑफ एम्प्लॉय 1 आई डू दिस एम्प्लॉय 2 देन आई देन आई डू दैट वेल इट्स अ बिट टीडियस वर्क आई विल ट्राई टू प्रिंट क्लास एंड आई विल ट्राई टू मेक इट इजीयर टू प्रिंट द ईमेल एड्रेस विद द इंफॉर्मेशन आई हैव ओके और थर्ड एग्जांपल में we will try to make it more clear okay so uh isko main ye kar deta hu ki i'll just copy this and i will paste it somewhere for you so that aap isko baad mein practice bhi karo and if you have further questions hum isko saturday ko aur discuss kar lenge to answer your questions but i said you i would like to continue with so let's say i'll continue sir beta sir what is that pass for करने लगा ओके ओके सर उसका आप पहले इस एग्जांपल को देख लो मैंने इसलिए कॉपी कर दिया आपको आई हैव कॉपीड इट ओवर हियर सो दैट यू कैन कंपेयर सो लेट्स क्रिएट क्लास लेट्स डू समथिंग अब इस पर्टिकुलर केस में व्हाट आई विल डू इज आई विल Define def for definition underscore in itself. In itself basically means initialize. Okay, or initialize. Can then now what I will do is I will define different parameters. Okay, self remains it itself. Okay, we'll talk about self. Dubara ki hoga. Self is used for referencing. Self is used for inheritance. Okay, so I have over here is the first term I pass, last term I pass. Okay. फर्स्ट नेम भी कर सकते हो dot uh as it nation is equals to uh, have over here what the people say i'll just make it now self dot email karte hain and let's make an email let's make it is equals to i have what first uh Space plus, and then we'll have in the little quotes is let's say a commitment dot dal dete hain or space dal dete hain whatever or plus ya pehle kar chuke mere sath sara you know what I'm doing last plus at the rate of let's say come on for example right uh. Now what we do is हम सिंपल यहाँ डिफाइन कर देते हैं EMP one ओके आई जस्ट मेक अनदर मेक एन इंस्टेंस ऑफ द क्लास ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर क्लास और इसके अंदर वैल्यूज डिफाइन कर देता हूँ ऑफ द पैरामीटर्स दैट आर इनसाइड माय डेफिनेशन ऑफ इनिशियलाइजेशन सो इसके अंदर ऑब्वियसली व्हाट आई डू इज आई जस्ट टाइ आई विल टाइप सम डिटेल्स ओवर हेयर नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल आई कैन टाइप ओवर हिज साइन ओके Uh, comma no I, not not this one this one one second not capital because you, what I want to explain is capital menu the sign comma Marek comma
In parenthesis, print, and we can print over here is email. No, MP1 or email. Right. So let's see what happens. Uh, I've done this. Okay. So if I, if I run this, what do I get? Um, I get the same thing. I mean, somehow I get the same thing, but see the, the way. I have reduced the code. Maybe some of you did get it, but let me explain. When I click here, when I blueprint define cardias is within my definition of initialization, I define some predefined parameters within it, such as the first name, the last name, the designation. Then it's itself dot first dot last that designation or self dot email. Email care email will, will be the, the first plus the last and combined with this. So employee one can have the following details. So if there is a name, there is this, and it should be. Email will be generated through this. And then I can print it. This is the first example of how classes can be reused as an object, as you can see over here. So if I have an employee two, I can even do that. Did you see how much the code has reduced and how much easy is it for us to, to, to understand it? Uh, typing it again and again. So let's say I what's your full name, Uswa? Okay, I don't really have to type the thing, but okay, fine. I made you the CEO. Oh, what is wrong? What went wrong? What did I do wrong? Is equal to, obviously. I did not print it. The more I discuss examples with you of this, it will be clear okay, what am I doing. The third example about coffee okay, okay, right, that's what classes do. Uh, sorry, it was employed. So this is how we've been able to generate the proper class for this. Let me try to explain you with another example as well. Don't worry. Come make our example good later. Or is it a clear one? Uh, for example, what I can do is um, let me just create one. Can you, just give me, can you give me just five minutes, please? Let me type the code. Uh, okay. Then I'll explain that though. I can create as. I can have basically name and I can have is let's say the occupancy. Okay. So I can say self dot name is equals to self dot occupancy equals to four. Which I will create is another definition over here. Let's say uh, these humans they do some sort of work. What do they do? Okay. What sort of work do they do? So, um, if self We have discussed the double feature
यू विल गेट यूज टू इट इसलिए मैंने कहा आपने इसके बाद खुद कोड टाइप करना है I'm getting that's the way you learn really fast. Answer from self. Student here, so. These are good. Print what? Let's do self. The name. Please check if I'm not typing something wrong. Studying all the time. मुझे एक और क्रिएट करना पड़ेगा फिर आपको समझ आएगी लेट से आई कैन हैव ओवर हेयर इज सर आप डिफाइन से सब क्लासेस डिफाइन कर रहे हैं ना बेटा मैं डिफरेंट मैं मैं आई एम डिफाइनिंग आप यस आई एम डिफाइनिंग विद डिफरेंट डेफिनेशंस टू एक्सप्लेन यू के सेल्फ किस तरह इनहेरिट करता है How does help help us to inherit? In order to explain that concept, I will explain you explain that. Just one second, I'm almost done. Don't worry, it's not a lot of code. Um, I will type a lot of code afterwards, but not now. So let's say I have self, and I will have self dot name. Okay, I like it. Simply have over here is. Are you doing? Right. No, 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 no. Let's just uh, see. Uh, does it work? Uh, I'll have over here. Let's say um, sign. Let's call. Human, I'm sorry. It's better if I have this. Sorry, comma, teacher. Okay, and let's say sign dot. So the the the, the definition that I just created. Are being displayed over there. We uh, work on a SQL plug with all the parameters inside it, and sign dot make instance create karo speak. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do. कोई बॉल नहीं रखे वो बॉल टाइप करो। It was supposed to be not here. It was not. अच्छा। Then the same thing. Obviously the same thing we'll do is uh, we have Lisa dot do work and Lisa dot speaks. 
Okay, fine. So hopefully. Does no attribute speak? No, it speaks, 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 speaks. No, it's speak, 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 So um, let's see, let's see. I can give you some time to, to, to uh, grasp it. Kya ho uh, just, just look at it, up idea over. So the output is this. Sign Dyke says, how are you? And Nisa is, uh, says, how are you? Uh, TK, this is the output that we're getting. So um, how does it work? Ho kya hai? Look over here. So in class, you may know, I have a definition in itself. Uh, so uh, N is for the name and O for the occupancy. Okay, self.name, self.occupancy. I made another one, def, a definition for do work. So I did made another definition within the class that defines the, the do work, okay, property. Uh, if self.occupancy teacher, so if the occupancy, okay, if the occupancy is teacher, then obviously to say is self dot name. Oh, no, this self dot name, this self is helping us to connect with this self. Do you see that? So name has not been defined over here. Has it been defined over here? It's not. Name has been defined over here. So self dot names say, uh, helps me to find of this. So self dot name, then uh, whatever it is, teachers. So it will print this. As if self dot occupancy is a student, then print self dot name is this. Then I have made so, that speak self. So print self dot name. How are you doing? Now what's happening? So when I written sign is equals to human. So human is my class. In my class, I have entered some values, values as in values of the parameter. Values of the parameter. These parameter values are what? Remember this N and O. N is the name. O is the occupancy. Teacher. Okay. So an object is created sign that this object gets uh, parameter values from the class, okay, and and all. Then uh, how do I get these uh, displayed over here? How do I know that um, sign Tarek is a teacher? It says if sign uh, of occupancy is equals to teacher, print this. Yes or no? So it sees that if it's a teacher, okay, then Yes or no? Is this clear? Have a look at it. And same goes for Nisa. Yes, all of you. Still confused? Sir, yes, it does. Sir, um, why hasn't it printed that uh, the thing that studies all the time or the teachers, the computer science to be up in the class? The second condition, you yeah, the if statement. Why isn't it being printed? One second, let me just check. Are you right? Sign dot. May I? Okay, just one second. Just one second. Do you want a bit of bono? I was just asking to scroll up so that if you could scroll, I can see it now. Thank you. Okay. So I defined over here was that uh, sign human right teacher. I did define this and sign dot do work. Is it the same do work? Yes. Sir, is Python case sensitive? Yes, it is. Did I? You? Sir, I need your teacher capital me likhava upar wo condition mein you have. Use these small. It is case sensitive. Or teacher like teachers are, or student can be a student. Students are not here. Yes, students are not here. It is case sensitive. Lord Nisa, you pointed it out. Yes or no? Now, please have a look at it again. Take your time. Uh, I can just pause this for a while, please. Uh, I don't want to like 